This is a horror game I made out of a nightmare I had, but let's start from the beginning. It happened during the Among Us hype, where everything, and I mean everything, revolved around Among Us. And I played the game more than a little bit. In this nightmare I was in my house, but the actual hallway was like infinitely long, right? I had to complete these different tasks in my house as quickly as possible, just like in Among Us. There was also this monster just waiting for me. You could hear noises while trying to do the tasks and every now and then I had to hide in my closet so the monster couldn't find me. And because I'm a game developer I decided why not just recreate it. Alright I'm in Unity and first and foremost I added some post processing to the game. It's supposed to be a nightmare so it has to have the appropriate vibe to it. The entire world is set to grayscale so it feels more like an actual nightmare you would be in. Now because I'm way too lazy to just recreate my hallway I'm just gonna take this random 3D model pack of a house I found on the Unity store. It looks pretty friendly on the website, but I'll turn it into something horrifying, trust me. It'll be like the back rooms, but way cooler. So I imported everything into Unity and there are just a couple of rooms for now. But in game it looks pretty nice so far. Everything's a little distorted, so it's already kind of scary. This is the monster by the way. It's this very friendly looking head on legs. I think I might have nightmares again after this game dude. Luckily you can't really see the details of his head in the actual game so more space for your brain to make up a face. With the music added it's already too goddamn scary to play at night. A little room too for you guys. That's the bathroom, this is our boy Fred, he will be chasing us, and this is another room. I'd say the vibe is set now. Now next I started with the actual game mechanics. Probably the easiest one is the closet hiding mechanic thingy. Hiding in the closet to escape the monster. There's the closet and once the hide message pops up I can press space and I'm in the closet. Wait, this font is ugly as f- but it's fine, we're just gonna ignore that. Since the game's supposed to be an infinite hallway, I tore down the house and we have this. I also added some more creepy sound effects and without the monster it's already pretty cursed to walk around here. I mean you could go on and on and there will never be an ending. Not a whole ton of things to do yet, but that'll change soon. Explaining hour. How does the infinite hallway work? The hallway is basically just multiple rooms connected. If the player walks far enough, the last room that was created gets deleted, and a new room is spawned with a random amount of doors, closets and other random stuff. We did this so your PC won't die after a few minutes of walking. And you can't see the end of the hallway anyway, so it's fine. The other random stuff was added shortly after. We got an arcade, a TV, a lamp, the usual stuff you would find in an infinite hallway. The closet is colored by the way, so you can actually tell that it's interactable, otherwise everything just kind of blends into one, you know? By the way, if you want to learn game dev as well, check out the first link in the description. We just dropped a pre-sale for a beginner course, especially for the people who give up too easily on game development. Now comes the real fun part, adding the mini games. And we're starting with the cable task from Among Us. I just started off with 6 different blocks and gave each pair a different color. And it's pretty easy, you just need to connect the block with this pair. This task will be assigned to the TV, cause televisions have cables and stuff. The TV is also colored so you can tell that you can actually interact with it as already said. And this is how the cable game actually looks in game. Next Next up I made the mirror into a mini game, and you just have to remove the different sticky substances by clicking on them. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, we will never know what the substances are. While doing that I had a slight problem with the graphics. When you sprint the player suddenly gains some matrix superhuman vision and you can see like multiple objects in one, there's like a TV in itself. I mean it does look kind of cool, but not really intended as a feature right now. The problem was that when sprinting the field of view slightly changes, and because I used two cameras to get the color effect, there were two different perspectives overlapping. Nothing a confused, tired game developer can't fix though. The next object I will turn into a mini game is this laptop right here. You'll just have to do a little numbers game and click 1 till 10 in ascending order. Just ignore the laptop being there, just, just ignore it. This is how it's looking in game, and if you click the wrong number it obviously doesn't work, a toddler could play the game, although he'd be a little bit afraid I think. Now after that I moved on to the actual mechanic of the monster. When you hear this little creepy laugh right here, you need to hide in the closet as fast as possible. I'm slightly going insane just developing it. Once the monster passes you though, you can leave the closet again and see how it slowly vanishes into the dark before coming after you again. Now before adding the winning and losing animation and jump scare of course, let's continue with the last two mini games of our nightmare game. You probably remember like the most boring task in Among Us, just clicking the button and waiting till the bar fills up. Yeah, I decided to add that as well. I tried to add the bar that fills up, but for some reason the step took way longer than necessary. Now you just need to get close to the arcade machine, click enter and now just wait. And the monster is hiding in the corner behind you. Now last but not least, I transformed the lamp into a minigame. And I'm just gonna replicate the one Among Us has again, you know, this one. Now I'm not gonna lie, the lamp minigame turned out kinda of fire. Is it an exact replica of the Among Us game? Maybe. Maybe I could've made millions like the people who made Among Us. 
All the mini games are finished now. The last things we need to add are the animations and the task bar that fills up once you complete all the tasks. Look at that. Easy, simple, effective. What more can you wish for? The game rules are you need to complete 10 mini games to win the game, but the monster's spawn rate is um, competitive, so you gotta hide in the closet quite a bit. Now let's say you actually manage to win the game somehow. You just slowly close your eyes and win the game. It was just a silly little nightmare. But this is what happens when the monster actually catches you. That's the game so far. If you want the game released, let me know. If you have any suggestions for the game, comment as well. And if you want to see me and my friend make a game out of some cursed drawings, you can click on this video.